Question. There's a question there. Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, Evan Jackson with Young, Bold, and Regal. What does it mean to you to to win this award? You know what? I felt like I already won just being nominated. The Oscars uh, throws a lot of us out, so it feels like a win. Charlotte Wells, Ellie Kumi, Alice Joe. Seeing all these amazing, brilliant innovators here is really inspiring because it reminds me I'm not alone in this trajectory, very lonely trajectory. Thanks. I'm Sunlight, about daywalking black vampires. And I'm also a directing Night of the Living Dead, the rebound of Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Oh, yeah! Yeah, so a new way into that world. And, and the state has been amazing. The Romero family has been amazing. So I'm really excited to stay in horror. Are you in pre-production on that, or how early on are Development. you? Development. No. Development. Okay, yes. exciting. And then I have a quick question for you. How do you feel as a writer and director that the horror genre really allows you to tap into that creative space to create these worlds and, and expand on them? I think horror is a conduit to the truth in a way that other genres don't allow you to tell truths. And, um, we're all navigating the monsters within us and the monsters within society, so I love staying in this genre in terms of speaking truth to humanity. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We talked about the Oscar, and I'm curious because this, uh, this year is being talked about as like historically diverse. There's more Asian actors um, yeah. than ever. But like, how do you feel that that progress is gone? Like, well, what do you think I think about the my frame is not so much about when white people choose which minoritized group each year is their favorite. I think that we need to think about sustained change as opposed to focus. That's my <laughs> Very excited though for you know the people who got a platform this year. The Oscars are not my center. However, because of this career path, it's kind of forced on us as a, a barometer of excellence. Um, but it's not my center. Can you talk about the lonely path? Yeah. Is the lonely path just directing or is it? Filmmaking is very lonely, especially when you are tokenized, when you become a symbol, when you're one of the few who's visible in your community. Um, and a lot, there's a lot of mystique. I think people think that if you have visibility, it equates to money. And it doesn't. A lot of people are still struggling, figuring out check to check, project to project. So, all of that makes it very lonely because it's simultaneously visible, um, but also as creators, we're constantly fighting to protect our voices and our work. 